Hey you guys, it's your girl Kimberlyn XO bringing you my first video of 2020. I took a little vacation to start this year off, but now I am back and better. Today I'm bringing you guys this everyday makeup look. I'm gonna stop rambling on and jump straight into this video. So I usually don't wear makeup every day, but whenever I am going for an everyday makeup look, I want it to look like I'm not wearing any makeup at all. So I'm gonna start off by using my Touch and Soul Facial Primer. This one is a no pore bone primer. Blend this in with my hands. I love the scent of this, it's so fresh. Now I'm using my go to BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Brow Palette to fill in my brows lightly. I hate drawing on my brows too thick. I think dramatic brows look like bird wings on my face. Out of this palette, the only shade that I really use is this dark brown powder shade right here. I'm gonna brush my brows into place. and then start to fill them in. I feel like everyday makeup looks are made to enhance your features. So whenever I'm adding my makeup, I like to just fill in what I already have. Excuse all that noise in the background. I live right next to an airport, so I hear airplanes flying over me all day long. What do you guys think about this soap brow trend? I think it is the weirdest thing. Why not just use brow gel? Or maybe they should come out with like a natural brow wax. Whenever I think of just having dried soap on my face, my skin starts to itch. So now moving off of my brows, I'm gonna use some gel in a little while to set these at the very end. First, I'm gonna start off with my lids. I'm gonna prime with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color Medium Dark 32. I don't think they sell this one anymore, but I think the concealers that they have still carry the same formula, so you'll be good. I can still over my eyelids to get one solid color. I'm gonna set this in place with some setting spray on a sponge. My eyelids, you can see the veins through them. So if I don't conceal and I'm wearing makeup, it just looks really crazy. And the next thing that I like to do is set over this with some setting powder. So I'm using the Becca Hydra Mist Setting Powder. This one is my favorite. I've set it multiple times. So I'm gonna leave my eyes alone and I'm gonna actually move on to my face. I'm using another one of my go-to faves, which is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the shade 910. This is drugstore, I get it from Walmart, and I'm almost out, so I need to go re-up. I'm gonna blend this in with a damp brush. This is from Ruby May Cosmetics. Now I'm gonna take my makeup sponge and then really pack this foundation in. This removes all the little streaks from using a brush. Now I'm gonna use my concealer again and I'm gonna use this to conceal the high points of my face. So the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin, and underneath my eyes. Then going back in with the same exact sponge that I've been using all over my face, but the pointed end. Instant facelift. So to set, I'm using that same Becca Hydra Mist Setting Powder. And whenever I said I don't bake, I just put my setting powder right there and then I dust it away immediately. So I kind of pack it into my skin and then dust away the excess so that it doesn't look too cakey. For bronzer today, I am using my Black Radiance Bronze Glow Powder. I believe this is a setting powder, but I use it as a bronzer.
Now to contour, I'm gonna be using the same brand, which is Black Radiance, but this one is in the shade Rich Mahogany. This one has more of a gray undertone instead of a warm undertone, so it's perfect for that shadow effect of contour. I draw that contour all the way up to meet my brow. Just a really snatched look. Put a little bit more concealer right on the top. Now we are almost done. Time for some blush. So, my favorite blush at the moment. Where the hell did I put her? I'm in love with a nice coral shade blush in combination with a champagne highlighter. And the one that I've been using is from the Alamar Cosmetics palette. This one is their Colorette Blush Trio. And the shade is Law. And a little bit goes a long way, so... And I mainly like to layer it right over my contour. I've been seeing this e-girl trend where people have been putting blush on their nose. I just can't get on board with some of these trends, man. But I don't know. I want to see how it looks on me. And for today, I am using the Laura Seller New York's and Gilded Honey. This one is more of a golden shade. I'm feeling a little bit more golden today, though. This is whenever the magic comes into play because all the different spots that you highlight on your face will really bring your look to life. This shade just gives you that perfect sun-kissed glow. With my nose highlights, I usually like to use my finger. And then I blend it out a little bit with my brush. Now I'm gonna stop right here and set my face really quick using the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Setting Spray. This one is the Stay Spray. This is how we're looking so far. A nice naturally glowy look. Now for my mascara, I always set my face before I put on mascara because if you don't, your mascara can get stuck underneath your eyes and then you're stuck looking like a raccoon. I hate having to wait for it to dry just to pluck it off too. So for mascara, I'm using the Hank and Henry Double Ended Mascara. Look at the difference. Now I'm using my e.l.f. brow gel to set my brows. Some people like to use mascara on their brows. I think that's really cool too. But since my mascaras are all black, they'll be way too dramatic. So I think I'm just gonna stick to transparent brow gel. Now lastly, on the everyday, I am either wearing a gloss or Vaseline. So my go-to lip gloss is the one by It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics. This one is in Rosie Ray. It's a beautiful pink lip gloss. And this concludes my everyday makeup look. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and slap that notification bell to be notified every time that I post. Thanks for watching. Bye y'all.